Good day to everyone. Welcome to our 5th edition on our devotions on good news, great joy, and for all people. Yesterday, we talked about there is room for more. We learned from that story that the Master have invited anyone, but they did not um, came to the invitation to be in the table. So those who were crippled were called, and still there is room for more. He teaches us that God accepts anyone and there will always be room for more for everyone who would come and be in the Lord's table. Today, we'll be talking about hope for the prodigal based on the story in the book of Luke, a very familiar story about the prodigal son. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 15 verse 24, For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now is found. Luke 15, 24. It's, it's, it, it is possible to know God and yet to be far from Him. Most Christians know what that is like. Perhaps you have had an experience of drifting away from God. And you never meant it to happen. But somewhere along the way, you made wrong decisions. You made wrong choices and one day you found out you woke up to find that God was far away from you. You know what? This happens irrespective to your spiritual pedigree about who you are. You might be an elder or a deacon yet far away from Him. You might be a Sunday school teacher or a youth leader or serving God as an usher or a member of a choir or maybe a Bible Institute student and still be far from God. You may have been raised in a Christian home only to grow up and you are going to reject your spiritual heritage. Or you may have been deeply hurt by someone who claimed to be a Christian and that deep hurt has kept you from coming close to God. Or you may have decided no one can truly live up to what the Bible commands. Perhaps you feel discouraged over repeated personal failure. Where you tried and tried and tried and finally you were exhausted and you gave up. Something like that happened to the prodigal son in the story. He left his family and he wasted his, his inheritance in the far country. Only then, having lost everything that mattered to him, did he wake up and begin the long journey home. And while on that journey, he must have wondered how he would be received by his father and by his family. It's certainly easy to criticize the prodigal son, but I will tell you at least one good thing about this young man. When the time came to move, he moved. He did not let the grass grow under his feet. So many people say, tomorrow I will arise and go to my father. Or some will say, next year or next day or next month. Give me some time to think about it. But this man, this young man, the story, he said, I am going to go. And he got up and went right then started that long journey home. He need not have worried about his reception because in a story, his father ran to get him. And that story is a parable of Christmas. Why and how? We are all prodigals running from the grace of God. Left to ourselves, we will die in our sins but God would not leave us alone our Savior Jesus left heaven to save a race of prodigal sons and daughters do you know someone who is in the far country of sin keep praying and keep believing light shines from Bethlehem to point the way on the long journey home he is our hope. I had been there. We had been there. And where we are today, 
forgiven, accepted, valued, important, special because we are loved by our Savior. Our prayer, therefore, must be, Almighty God, we pray for those who are far from you. Give us faith to keep praying until our prodigals finally come home. 